and hey guys so yes i am going to be showing you how to fix your hive if you don't actually know what to do and also even if you do kind of know you may not know some of the things i'm actually going to say what i've done is actually gotten five different hives that are different stages of the game such as you know a red hive a white hive an early game hive a mid game hive and i'll be showing you how to fix all of those hives because they are quite you know wrong so make sure to watch till the end to actually find out how to fix your hive okay 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 so hive number one yeah as you guys do actually see here so this hive does have quite a lot of legendary bees it is mostly a level eight this person is early game as well also so no ssa that's supreme stamina for the people that don't know by the way and you're probably asking well what should i do to fix this hive first of all gift your event bees well mostly the tabby bee and actually the basic bee because you do want those sweet hive bonuses why would you not want the 1.2x pollen and also the tabby bee as well first out of all those event bees as well because 50% crit power that's just op and well banana well how would i actually get those tickets to get the star tree or anything like that well what you should do is af Okay, this wealth clock over here. Oh, well, I can actually get mine in five minutes. Free tickets, free tickets. You can also actually get tickets from, you know, mobs, quest rewards and everything. So don't spend them. Unless you actually have enough to buy a star treat, then you can gift it. Now, the next thing is actually the legendary bees. And you should remove some of the legendary bees, such as the multiple shy bees you do have. You are actually removing them for bees, such as the frosty bee, the ninja bee, and the bubble bee and so on with bees that have the bomb ability since the bombs and stuff will actually be your main source of pollen collection and well you're obviously you know gonna get more hive slots you know you're gonna get mythic bees at a later stage in the game and stuff not really right now but you are doing quite good overall for you know early game and stuff you just gotta get a couple more different bees and you'll be good to go really oh yeah by the way guys make sure to not commit to one single hive color as well since you're not really gonna make that much honey when you're like you know level 12 going to try and be a full on white hive so don't commit to one single hive color until you actually have ssa and the ssa is obviously quite good and the quest will just be harder for you if you do actually commit to one hive color before ssa okay so hive number two now and this is the blue hive yes the blue hive so blue hives actually had a massive change since the bombs that actually came from the buoyant bees were actually normally the bomb plus and now they're just the normal bombs and as you guys do actually see in this hive it's overall kind of okay but there are some things that you can actually do to change it and to actually make it better so well what you should do is firstly remove the gifted precise bee and add a music bee instead of it since four is you know no, obviously still good if you don't think it's good because i do see you do actually have three music bees there you could actually also have five music bees if your ping is terrible and that's obviously when you are actually macroing i don't actually know how much tadpole bees he has in this hive but eight is a number you really want to go for by the way so the other mythic bee buoyant bee you obviously want to have like 20 plus buoyant bees so whenever you are actually boosting as the blue hive and you are filling quite a lot what you can actually do is remove bees such as the bubble bee the cool bee the tadpole bee as well but not that much tadpole bees like one or two tadpole bees so you can have like six or seven and remove them for buoyant bees because if you are filling you're just gonna fill more balloons instead and if you aren't actually filling just add in some more bees instead of the buoyant bees since you know you might have took too much power away from your hive oh yeah and i'm not sure if i said this already but make sure to add convert mutations for the buoyant bees and the tadpole bees and you can actually do that for the red hive because the red hive is actually the third hive we're going to talk about and since i actually did mention the convert and stuff mutations what you can actually do is get the convert mutations for spicy bees and the precise bees so first also as you guys can see from that hive do not use the rad bee or the fire bee as you don't need them anymore and about windy bee as well well you can keep windy bee if you want to but what windy 
BB will do is actually basically it will demolish your haste stack whenever you're boosting and well let's say you're boosting like this yeah you're super speedy you know you're going all around the field you're collecting all of the precise marks and stuff the precise targets and then you just run out of haste randomly because you have your windy bee tornado going off so yeah but I mean you can keep it in if you really want to though it's your choice but yeah if you still don't know how to fix your hive let me know in the comments since I'll actually help you with that but yeah so now let's actually move on to the fourth hive so the fourth hive is actually the white hive yes so I'm supposed to be white hive right now I just have the red gear on I also have a lot of spicy bees but I'll talk about that in a second okay my balloon has finished converting right okay as you guys do see I do have a lot of spicy bees well what I would actually replace the spicy bees over here and the buoyant bee is with vector bees yeah I would gift them gift them more I would also actually put in a carpenter bee over here and put in three more baby bees down here what also I actually have to do to make this an even better hive to fix it is actually put gather mutations on all of these mythics up here because that's going to help a lot then get b ability rate mutations i mean obviously you know b quips not looking that good right now definitely going to have to improve on them but yeah so i hope you guys have actually enjoyed the video and have actually learned something from it i really hope you have if you haven't though and you're still confused please let me know in the comment section below just right now what issues you guys are having i'm going to try and answer your problem and stuff yeah so yeah thank you so much for watching and bye